okay, so here's my scenario. I have a donor named Tom Cruise, and he's in my little green light account here. I'm gonna go up here to my profile up in the upper right. Uh, my profile and, and it shows me that I have these Dropbox email addresses which have some really funny looking characters and that's a unique address just for me in this account. <clears throat> um, they're, they're, they're restricted means that the only people who will be able to see this contact report that I'm going to create are people at my permission level and above. So I'm an administrator so only administrators will be able to see it. Uh, but I, I can I don't care who sees this. I'll be happy if volunteers or anyone else you know can see this contact report. So I'm going to use this uh, this drop we call it the Dropbox email address. So I'm copying that here, and now I'm going to go back to Tom Cruise, and I can um, just type in part of his name, and it'll find that. Um, so from here now I have this set up in Google. Uh, I use Google Mail. I have it set up so when I click on an email address, it, it brings up my Compose um, screen in my Google Mail. Now the way the, the Dropbox works, I, I, I want a blind copy, and it actually has to be in the blind copy uh, location. I'm going to drop in my secret email address that I just pulled off of my profile. Um, and I'm going to send a note to Tom Cruise. Uh, <laughs> so uh, this is a very important note that I want to keep track of in my little green light account. So I'm just going to send that off to Tom. When I, when I come back to my little green light account, it, it might take a minute or two, but um, it went off to Tom, who I sent it to, but then a blind copy of this went to my little green light account. And it looks at who I sent it to, and it figures out which uh, constituent it, it relates to. So it's going to look in my little green light account for that email address, and it'll, it'll then drop in a copy as a contact report. Um, okay, so it's now shown up here, so this is what it looks like in in here there's another approach that uh, or another thing you could do so here here i have this mail um and let, let's say i want to get a copy of this into my little green light account i could i could forward this so i i don't have to do anything else i'll just forward this to my little green light address and in this case w when it when it comes in on the two line what Little Green Light does is it looks for who sent the mail. So it's going to look for this from colon. And then it looks at the email address of who sent that mail. And so now it's going to look up this email address in Little Green Light and attach this as a contact report for that email address. So that that's kind of the other way you can use this. Uh, there, there, there's two ways you can use it. One, you can blind copy your Little Green Light account when you're sending a message to someone. And the second is you can forward an email to Little Green Light that you want to get in, and it'll look at the, the from address in that case.